Christmas Eve surprise for a veteran and his family tonight. Several good-hearted people came together to deliver some completely unexpected Christmas gifts. Vanessa Murphy was there to witness this feel-good moment as dozens of strangers filled the unsuspecting family's living room, catching them totally off guard. She filed this report before heading to that breaking news. We figured on Christmas Eve, uh, there's no better feeling than give back to a veteran and a family in need. Uh, John Montgomery, uh, United States Air Force. Uh, today's uh, event has been uh, pretty good, very informative. Uh, learned a lot about the benefits that I didn't realize I was that I had. Uh, it was a very great event. Um, honestly, it was very well informed. Uh, it, it, it hit a lot of key points that a lot of us, I think, secretly really wanted to to ask. I'm pretty sure we've asked that question like thousands of times to other people and couldn't get the right answer that we needed. So I think this event kind of cleared that up a little bit. Honestly, if, if I would have known, uh, even as a homeless person, if I would have known better shelters to kind of situate myself to or, or a place that I knew that it was automatic that I was going to get, you know, rental assistance, maybe that could help me with the frustration of trying to go you know, roaming around the city, trying to find the actual location, and it didn't happen. Um, I think that was a little frustrating. I think not having that type of guidance sometimes, um, and just kind of just going from having guidance and then not having guidance, I think that was just uh, the worst. So I think it would have helped a lot, and not just myself, but it would have helped a lot of families, including. Local Army veteran and his family were treated to a big surprise today. Veteran James Elder and his wife, along with their three children, received, received keys to their newly renovated home near Oki and Eastern. The home is being donated mortgage-free by the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. I've always uh, aspired to be a homeowner. Uh, I'm glad now to have a piece of America, which I, I have fight for. This is to me, today is the American dream come true. I'd like to thank the VA rep representatives from Las Vegas, Nevada. They have come out to honor me on this very prestigious day. Um, I'm just overwhelmed with the support I have received today. Well, really, we really appreciate your service, and we're very, very glad that we were here to help you. And how do you like the home? It's beautiful. Aww, we're so happy. Trisha, this is a great story. This was a total surprise for the family, and they heard sirens from fire trucks heading their way and thought something was wrong, and little did they know, Christmas was being delivered to them. A Christmas emergency of sorts had North Las Vegas police and fire and this line of volunteers heading to the home of Michael Paul Harper with presents and tree in hand. I just say, hey, I'm a veteran, just transitioned out, I'm having a hard time, can someone help? And help came. These strangers surprised the family, and in seconds, their empty home was filled with presents and a Christmas tree. It moved Michael's wife to tears. It was amazing. I never expected anything like this, but thank you so much. Thank you. It's been rough. Our proactive stance, providing financial literacy, education, and advocating home ownership may not end the epidemic of homelessness among the veteran community, but can prevent it from happening in the future, one veteran at a time.